You slept your Georgia's historic elections audit deadline passed, but it's not over just yet. Some counties are still wrapping up with what they call quality assurance after counting each vote in the presidential race by hand. Now that comes as the audit has already turned up thousands of missing ballots in at least four metro Atlanta counties. Still, elections officials say it's not enough to change the outcome. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm joining us live this morning. She is in Gwinnett County where they still have uh, work left to do, Rebecca. Good morning. Good morning, Gravier. But the good news is it looks like they have finished the hand tallying of the vote. So that's some good news. But yeah, in some of these counties that are more heavily populated, like Gwinnett County, where they certainly had a lot of ballots to sort through, they do have uh, some loose ends to tie up before they submit everything to the state. At around midnight, election workers in Gwinnett County went home for the night, having completed the required hand tallying of votes in the presidential race. The only thing left of the audit, some quality control measures plus final reconciliation. Same for Fulton, DeKalb and Cobb counties. This comes amid growing distrust among Trump supporters of the election results, especially after the audit uncovered missing votes in four Georgia counties, all but one of the errors netting more votes for Trump. Georgia's voting system manager Gabriel Sterling says these were all human errors as workers adjust to the state's new voting system. The frustrating situation overall, essentially in the United States right now, if this was 14 votes, 14,000 votes the other way, I, I believe Biden supporters would be screaming that this was all inappropriate and, and not done correctly. And he expects that they will be able to release the results today of that hand count and audit. Coming up in our next half hour, you're going to hear from some of those protesters at the Capitol, those Trump supporters. Plus, you'll hear what a counter protester had to say. Live in Gwinnett County, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News. Yeah, and you know what? Our elections are going to be under the microscope again as we get ready for the Senate runoff races coming up in January, Rebecca. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so a lot to get to. Thanks so much.